welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. You're watching. Thank you. Well, guys, uh, the big story continues to be the FBI's search of former President Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, seriously, you know you did something bad when you're the former president, but you're still making more headlines than the current president, don't you think? <laughs> you gotta hand it to Trump, though. He, he has endless scandals for six years, and he always manages to keep them feeling fresh and new, don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, the action never stops. It's like if Discovery ran the Shark Week 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's what this one. Well, over the weekend, we found out that the FBI seized 11 sets of classified documents from Trump's home, including four sets that were marked top secret. Ooh. You know Trump just kept those hoping to come across KFC's secret blend of 11 herbs. <laughs> I got something on the colonel. Also, just a thought, but if the government doesn't want people reading those files, maybe they shouldn't label them top secret. <laughs> it's like a guy labeling a porn folder on his computer, best porn. It's like that... <laughs> it's called... banana bread recipe. <laughs> no, one will op no one will open it. <laughs> uh, this doesn't look good for Trump, uh, but don't worry, he had a perfectly reasonable explanation. He said that when he took the classified documents from the White House, he declassified them. Now, he declassified them, meaning he took out a Sharpie and wrote D-E in front of classified. They are officially declassified. Get the colonel on the phone. I read that after the FBI search last week, Trump sent a message to Attorney General Merrick Garland that said, the country is on fire. What can I do to reduce the heat? Garland was like, I don't know, but why are you talking like a 1950s private eye? It's like, <laughs> I need to find uh, those nuclear codes, see? Oh, what's going on over there, see? <laughs> Meanwhile, today, Trump complained that during their search of Mar-a-Lago, the FBI seized his three passports. He's like, what's next? They take my fake beard and emergency bag of getaway money? <laughs> Switching gears, uh, did you guys see this? Senator Chuck Grassley, who's 88 years old, by the way, is running for re-election in Iowa, and he just put out a campaign video to show that he still got it. Take a look at this. I get up at four. I run a couple miles. That's my habit. I started running when I was... 65 years old. Yeah. I think people are like, hey, honey, honey, you know that 88 year old who runs around the neighborhood at 4 a.m. in the miner's cap? Uh, apparently, that's our senator. <laughs> he also wears that headlamp to read menus in restaurants. I've seen it. <laughs> well, this is good. A Canadian politician named Doug Ford was giving a speech when he was interrupted by a bee. Check this out. Not coming from the, not coming from the uh, government per se, but the premier. It's coming from the health sector. <laughs> I just swallowed a bee. <laughs> and right now, that is the biggest political scandal in Canada. Right now, <laughs> that that. That's the difference. That is the biggest. Guys, it is the beginning of the week, and I thought it'd be nice to kick things off with a few words of encouragement. It's time for some Monday motivations. Monday motivations. Hey, you look normal when you run. <laughs> that houseplant died of old age. There was nothing you could do. <laughs> when you order a pizza, the guy on the phone's like, dang, I never thought of that topping combo, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> Your dad says he's proud of you all the time. You're just never in the room when he's saying it. <laughs> of course you're pulling off the hat. You're a total hat guy. <laughs> when you go into a store, the mannequins want to buy what you're wearing. <laughs> that can you just recycled, that's the one that saves the earth. a little Monday motivation. <laughs> Emma? Hey, you're oh, a guy. Totally yeah, totally. Fedora? Yes. <laughs> Some business news. I saw that Uber Eats teamed up with Office Depot to offer on-demand delivery of office and school supplies. Yeah, they even have a cool name for it. Amazon. <laughs> you know that excited feeling you get when your Uber Eats order shows up? Yeah, this won't be like that. It's like, <laughs> Honey, our ink cartridges are here. Well, get this, apparently this year's uh, brands and companies are rolling out their pumpkin spice offerings earlier than ever before. I, 
I feel like it's too soon. I mean, even though I do, I do love pumpkin spice. Oh, really? You like pumpkin spice? Yeah. What else? What else? I like pumpkin spice. I like orange slice. That's cool. What else? I like yellow rice and Disney on ice. I like wearing half price Old Spice and tights while singing Edelweiss with D-Nice. I like watching Vice, Bachelor in Paradise, and picking lice off mice with Willie Geist and Condoleezza Rice. Oh, did I say rice twice? Nice. I like my coffee ice, Creed Sacrifice, getting concise advice from the Price is Right and in the Heights. Quest. How do you feel about pumpkin spice? <laughs> no dice. Wow. <laughs> Moving on. Hey guys, listen to this. I heard that due to weak tomato production, there could be a shortage of spaghetti sauce, ketchup, and salsa. Whoa. It's getting pretty bad. Uh, levels of concern have gone from mild to medium. <laughs> I knew there was a tomato shortage when after they raided Mar-a-Lago, Trump threw mustard at the wall instead of ketchup. <laughs> well, this is big. The CDC has ended most of its recommendations for social distancing, quarantining, and contact tracing. Oh. Yeah, they got rid of it. Now they're replacing them with some new COVID guidelines. First of all, uh, all hand sanitizer is now illegal. <laughs> Next, uh, if you have to sneeze, make sure it's into a stranger's open mouth. <laughs> Next up, uh, you can lick anything now. Go ahead, lick the floor. <laughs> Next, seriously, lick it. <laughs> then there's lick it, lick it, lick it. Then, <laughs> yeah, go Jenna, you lick the floor. Go Jenna, you lick the floor. <laughs> then, yummy, right? And finally, anyways, you have COVID now, sorry. <laughs> That's on the CBC. But... <laughs> lick it, oh my God. Thank ah. you. Well, this is going viral. An athlete in Estonia decided to propose to his girlfriend at the finish line of an Ironman. Oh. But his muscles had a different plan. <laughs> Take a look at this. He wants to tell his story, and he thinks ah. he wants to say something. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. You know your proposal went wrong when it looks like you're being tased, you know? <laughs> That's how she always dreamt about it, getting proposed to her by her, her boyfriend while two guys rubbed his hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Snoop Dogg just launched his very first breakfast cereal called Snoop Loops. They look pretty good. They even got marshmallows. Uh, but he's not the only rapper launching his own breakfast cereal, no. Really? Yeah, there's also Saweeties. Oh. Uh, next, there's Two Charms. <laughs> and finally, of course, Drake Nuts. There you go. We have a great show. Hey, hey.